everyone, and welcome back to Moss Leaf Farm. Ooh, that was kind of like sing-songy today. I must be in a good mood. And I'm really excited because Leia is back in the kitchen. So I'm really, really hoping that she will actually have some more delicious food for me. So let's see what she says today. Have you a plan for winter at all? It's good to have a stockpile of hay. Um, yes, that's a very good point, Leia. Gosh darn, I was hoping she'd have more salad for me or something. But I guess since I haven't eaten the salad she gave me. No, I know she's like running out of the kitchen and she won't talk to me. Leia, Leia, oh my gosh, you're right. I haven't been giving you gifts. I'm so sorry. And actually, I think salad is one of the things that Leia really loves to eat. So I should make more of an effort to try to get some leeks and dandelions and, and some vinegar and make her salad. And maybe I can make her something that she'll really enjoy. I, I should really remember what her favorite things in the world are but all I ever remember is that she likes goat cheese. Leia do you, do you want some goat cheese? Oh this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. All right phew. Ooh, that that disaster averted. I have given my wife some goat cheese and we can get the day started. Let's go toss the baby and then we're gonna check on the news and then after last time's really really exhausting rush all around the place to try to figure out what the heck we were going to do with the weird dark talisman we had, we have to go and talk to somebody about a goblin now. So we need to seek out more information on goblins. I'm thinking since we talked to Krobus already, we either need to talk to Krobus or maybe we should go talk to the dwarf. And I haven't given the dwarf any gifts in a long time. And the dwarf does happen to be in the mines. And you guys know how much I love the mines. So maybe today will be a mining day. And in my defense, I do need to get yeah, Rowan, mining day, mining day dance. In my defense, I do actually need to start collecting up a lot more iron. So we might go harvest up some iron today. Tomorrow is Robin's birthday. So I might try to get something cool that I can give her as a gift. Let's check the weather report. Cloudy day tomorrow and the fortune teller says, come on fortune teller, tell me my fortune say that I'll have so much luck in the caverns. Neutral. Huh. Well, I'll take neutral over the spirits being really in a bad mood. And then I need to give Pam that battery pack. And do I have the recipe to make red plate? Now that I bought so much, I do. Oh, and it's just red cabbages and radishes. I am so silly, you guys. I can't believe, I cannot believe I have spent so much money on those red plates yesterday. Oh, oh, that is just so silly. Oh my gosh. All right, now I feel like a real goose. But at least we've gotten a few things cleared up. I now know that red plates I can make myself and they are definitely worth a lot of energy. Um, I know that Rowan loves to do the mining dance. Oh, I know I have a lot of a lot of eggplants to gather and I do need to go get I'll get one of my gemstones from inside the house from my collection and I'll give a gift of a gemstone to the to the little dwarf and we'll see if he likes it or not and what he might do with it oh and look we have some artichokes ready to harvest wonderful and I can get some wheat planted ah <sighs> and mostly I think I just need to stop and catch my breath and and not be so worried about what the heck to do we have plenty of time it's not like we're in a terrible rush to do much more than make sure that the farm is taken care of so while yes I could be running around like a chicken with my my well I, I don't want to say with my head cut off because that's the saying but it's actually kind of an aggressive saying if you think about the fact I have so many beloved chickens I don't want to agitate them by talking like that so uh, like a chicken after my favorite seed. I don't want to be running around like a chicken after my favorite seed or a chicken after my egg or anything like that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and focus more on taking good care of the farm. And really, I really like the idea that Leia and I are kind of working out our relationship a little bit. And as long as I show that I am responsible for my health by not passing out anymore, and as long as I show that I'm like going to the caves properly equipped and that I'm taking care of the farm work and, you know, her, because I totally haven't been giving her enough gifts lately and the family, then I think Leia and I can come to a, some sort of accord with all of the work that I like to do around the world in exploring the mines. All right, anything else over here? Not really, there is a little, a little tree I have to get up right there though. So we'll go ahead and collect that. Oh, and speaking of trees, I need to get more wood. I can't believe I'm so low on wood. All right, and let's go ahead and check the mail today. 
Yes! And there's the other custom recipe that we needed from the mod. Dear Siri, here is a recipe for one of my favorite teas. A perfect pick-me-up on any day. Enjoy! From Leia. And that is for the unsweetened tea, you guys! I'll have to go inside to show it to you, but now we have the recipe for unsweetened tea, too! I'm so excited! Alright, let's go ahead and see what this one is. Oh, cool! Dear valued customer, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for visiting Pierre's. Enclosed is your cashback rewards program rebate. See you soon from Pierre. P.S. Sorry for the stock message, Siri. Enjoy. Oh, that's so cool. And we got some cash back. I wonder if that's like based off of how much money we've spent at Pierre's because that would be kind of cool. All right. And do I want to ship anything? I'm going to go ahead and ship everything that we've collected today just because I can. And I don't really have any cooking things on, in mind that I can remember just off the top of my head just yet. Oh, there's my little bun bun. And I do need to get my little bunny coop built at some point too. My bunny coop? You know what I meant. My rabbit hutch that we've been planning for. Also, let me come down here and grab the grapes. If I'm going to have a little spot that I like to say Leia and I work on making some really delicious homemade jams together, I should probably keep my grapes in an easier to reach location. Maybe I'll go visit Krobus today. No, don't eat the void egg. I want to give that to Krobus. No, don't eat the void egg. Of all of the eggs to eat, don't eat the void egg. I'm pretty sure that's the one that would cause like the most trouble. All right, we've got a couple starred products that I can toss in there. My gosh, I get so many eggs. Ooh, that's like a really fancy void egg. Jeez, I'm going to take Krobus a normal void egg and keep the fancy void egg for myself or to sell, I should say. All right, there we go. Got more of these. Lots and lots of eggs to take in. Eventually, I will move this chest when I have uh, some time to do that. But working on the farm keeps me quite busy, in case you guys can't tell. I wonder if I can keep a chest down inside of Krobus's sewer. I wonder if he'd let me do that. That would be kind of cool. There you go, chicken. There you go, little AT Muya, or whichever dinosaur that you currently are. Um, oh, there's some ancient fruits. Another truffle! Ancient fruits and a truffle I need to gather. Let's come in and check on... Doesn't look like the tea plant, which again, used to be the coffee plant, but is now remodeled into a tea plant. Doesn't look like it's ready to harvest just yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there, and I have spots that I can plant a whole bunch of tea once it's ready to go. All right, let me gather up the... Ooh, the strawberries, yes. I love the strawberries. And they sell for quite a bit too. And one day, one day in the future, I do think it would be nice to get the mod to have a larger greenhouse. All right, let me scooch these things down. So we will be getting a larger greenhouse at some point. I just feel like I have to earn it somehow first. So I'm going to have to think of how I want to earn it. Maybe by getting the furniture um, the furniture purchaser item, which is like 200,000 gold. That would make sense. If I was that rich, I could upgrade my entire greenhouse. And then the other thing I wanted to check in was all of these crops. So we planted all these crops down here using the mixed seeds that we got from Krobus. So I'm really excited to see what they turn into. All right, so let's take these away. I've got to run over here, unfortunately. Gosh, today is just such a busy day. But like I said, hopefully, hopefully this will be my way of proving that I am, I am good at taking care of the farm, good at taking care of my family, good at taking care of my animals, and then I can go and spend all the time that I want running around inside of the, the cave system. All right, another truffle, wonderful. Might as well go ahead and sell one of those truffles at some point in the future. Um, I wonder if there's like another truffle hiding in the grass somewhere. So far, the deer have been really good about putting the truffles down where I can see them. All right, that's Primrose. Dang it, Primrose, you moved and it looked like I was trying to milk my horse. All right, there's that one. Do I not have any milk from you, my friend? Yeah, Milkweed has no milk right now. I think that the goats only give you milk every other day. So I think I've got all the milk I can get from those guys. All right, and there's normal milk. So we'll turn that into some cheese. And let me toss this in here. I should probably start bringing some of the milk back to the house uh, so I can use it in cooking. All right, down here we go. Whew, almost done, almost done. There's definitely some other maintenance work that needs to be done on the farm. And no dinosaur eggs again. Are they not getting enough food? I'm going to have to look into that. I'm a little bit worried about the fact I'm not getting, like, any... I mean, half the time I don't even see my dinosaurs. 
<laughs> so I, I might need to go ahead and actually try upgrading them. Uh, anything I need to harvest down here? Oh, darn. There is some artichokes I need to gather. I might try upgrading their coop as well so that my dinosaur den will automatically feed them so that if they need more food, they'll be able to get it because I don't want to be accidentally starving my dinosaurs. I'm not exactly a dinosaur expert, so that sounds like a safe that sounds like a safe thing for me to do. All right, oh, and there's another yam. It's kind of getting to the point where I mean, I guess I could plant more things if I really wanted to. So let's try. I'll just go buy some artichoke seeds really quickly. Uh, there's enough days left. <gasps> noodle doodle worms! Oh my gosh! What are you doing on my farm, noodle doodle worms? Giving me clay, apparently. And my little my little fruit tree is growing. Oh, progress. Progress all around. And actually, even for me, this is getting to be a lot of grass right here. So let me go ahead and clear this back. I'll have to go through and we'll have a hay cutting day, which will probably make so many of you guys so excited because I know a lot of people get so agitated that I let the hay grow wild. And so we'll go and clear away some of the hay. Let's see. Do I have anything I can put away in here? The goat cheese. I can put the goat cheese away. And then I can also put away this pomegranate. I'm pretty sure there's a pomegranate recipe that we will be able to use that in in the future. And then let's go downstairs and see if anything's done. Oh my gosh, there's things that are done. The truffle oil. The truffle oil is done, you guys. Oh, we can take the mayor his truffle oil. Oh, happy days. Don't want to ask questions about what he needs it for. But oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Excited. And let's put the ancient fruit right on in there. I have a lot of gold star ancient fruit saved up so I can just come straight down the lineup. Voila! Slowly but surely starting to earn a little bit of extra money. And then I only have two kegs that I can drop these into. So all but two of those ancient fruit wines are gonna go, no, 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 don't drink it yet, are gonna go straight back into that chest. So now I need to get the other truffle. Did I just pick up a truffle today? I'm pretty sure I did. And I don't remember, do I need the truffle oil for anything else? I'm going to sell this fancy truffle. And, well, I have one truffle already. So I'm going to put that truffle in, sell this truffle, and we're going to see what the truffles uh, sell for. And I think I'm going to sell two of these ancient fruit wine just to make a little bit of profit at a time when there's not much profit to be made um, from pretty much anything else I've been selling. All right. And there's Leia. She's taking care of all the houseplants. I was just working on my houseplants in real life the other day, and it took me like two hours to take care of all the plants in my office. I was really surprised. Oh, hi, Marigold. What are you doing over here? So I'm glad Leia's inside taking care of those things. All right, we're gonna sell a whole bunch of these things and all of these. I have to put those apples away. All right, whew, that is keeping me busy. Oh no, did Pierre's close and I just sold those artichokes? There's Abigail and Pam. Hi, you two. There's a wild plum I need to harvest. Pierre, stay open till six. I know you don't, but gosh darn it. I should have gotten over here faster. Please, Pierre. Please. No, he's stalking. Ah, oh, darn it. All right. Well, tomorrow I'll have to buy a bunch of am uh, amaranth seeds from him. Does anyone have an extra wild plum laying around? From Sandy. Ooh, I can do that. We can go visit Sandy tomorrow. Yeah, I could spend Sunday with Sandy because we have... Two days to do that delivery, bringing Sandy a wild plum, and I just saw a wild plum by the bus stop, so we can go snag that. Awesome. All right. Whew. Well, I'm pretty proud of all of the things I have managed to get done. Let's talk to cute little Evelyn for a second. Are you friends with Alex? Sometimes he worries me sick. Oh, Evelyn, why? I don't want to give you an apple, even though you're a sweet little old lady, because to be honest, those apples are really hard to grow, but I'm happy to see you. Oh, hi, everyone. Is it just me or does Abigail play too many video games? Carolyn, those are fighting words in this household. Jody, I'm so glad you're trying to improve that old farm. Oh, wonderful. So glad to see the whole village is doing well, even if I can't dig in their trash right now. Hey, Alex. I think you can find some salmon in the river at this time of year. At least that's what I heard. Oh, I would really love to spend more time fishing, too. All right, so let's see if we can try to find the mayor after I dig in his trash and find a broken CD. Uh, Mr. Mayor is not here. Gosh darn, that would have made it my job a little bit easier if I could just kind of stumble on where the mayor is. I bet he's inside the saloon because everybody's headed here. Mayor? Gosh darn. All right, well, at least Kent's here and Pam's like, hey, I'm back. 
I have trouble sleeping, so please excuse me if I seem tired. Oh, thank you, Kent. All right, so let's go ahead and give Kent uh, his omelet and see what he thinks about this. Hey now, this is a really great gift. Thanks. All right, so our relationship is slowly but surely building with him. And I hope that he gets the sleep he needs. All right, no mayor yet. I wonder where he's run off to. Oh, and it looks like Penny's dropping the kids off. Mom's been complaining ever since Jojoa Mart closed down. I think it's good for her, though. Maybe she'll drink less Jojoa Cola now. Oh, that's right, Jojoa, like, closed down. Maybe Penny will be happy with us for that, even if we did reject her romantically, and so she's a little bit bitter. And there's Willie. Oh, my gosh, people in Saturdays. Like, the town is hopping. Wow. All right, let's come and talk to Krobus really quickly. I forgot to get the uh, fancy gemstone. He is selling the complete breakfast. I'm going to buy a few of those because those are actually expensive to make. And <clears throat> I haven't completed the quest yet with the magic. And that's when I'm going to reward myself with the star drop. But I can give him a void egg. Dun, dun, dun. I think that just increased our friendship with him. So hopefully that's going good. I don't. Yep. Almost, almost, but not quite increasing it. And I totally forgot that if I'm going to visit the dwarf. So talking to Krobus definitely didn't help me out when it came to solving the mystery of how to learn more about goblins. Maybe talking to the curator at the museum would help. Hey, Willie. How's the fishing life for you? Doing pretty good, Willie. Haven't been fishing lately. But I am a farmer, so that makes sense. The mayor is still not here. Gosh darn. Wait, but Pam is. Pam. Pam. I have your battery back. Pam isn't responding. Pam. Pam, battery pack. Hey, you pulled through with the battery pack. Thanks, kid. You're a lifesaver. Of course, Pam. All right, there you go. Wow, I don't know where you got that money, but I'm glad I got it from you. All right. Marty, do you know where the mayor is? I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. Hmm, Clint's also not here today. I haven't seen him in ages either. All right. There's, oh, there's Clint. So Clint's showing up now, and Mayor- oh hey, there's the Mayor! Good evening, Mayor! Good news! Everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, don't you think? I'm on the job seven days a week, though. Alright, well, lucky for you, sir. The very long-winded truffle oil is finally within my grasp to offer to you. This is a monumental moment that has been a long time, months, months, I say, in the making. Nope! Oh, <laughs> he tried to pass me up! Did you see that?! You got the oil? Let me see. It's high quality. Very slick. Great. Thank you. All right. So that's done. Oh, two of our big quests are now completed. I'm quite pleased about that. That was that was a little bit of a pickle to get done, too. And now, let me see. So now I need to work on the goblin problem. I need to work on delivering something to Sandy. I need to go visit. I'm thinking I need to go talk to... Her, what? It's 8 p.m. I thought you weren't allowed after si out after 6, Jaws. Oh, wow. Look at this. Talk about a crayfish harvest. That's so cool. All right. I'm going to have her harvest these guys up and toss them in here really quick. And then fill this up. <gasps> you guys. Why? Now there's shiny things in the water. So you do need to carry that thing with you all the time. I thought it was just... I thought it was only in one specific spot, but the shiny things show up in the water everywhere. I could pan for gold there. Oh, I missed out on a true blue opportunity. Ah, oh, well, I learned my lesson. Learned my lesson. I'll be sure to be panning for shiny things more often. And if I had free time, I would probably work on gathering up some wood uh, by clearing out maybe my pine, my pine garden. But for now, let me come up here. I'm going to run in and grab a fancy gemstone. Hey, Leia. It's so much lovelier here than the garish glow of the city. Everything worked out perfectly for me. I'm very lucky. Oh, Leia. Thank you. I'm so I'm so glad she's happy here. And I, I understand that feeling when everything just kind of works out for you and you're in awe. But also a little intimidated and confused. That's how I feel about my life, for sure. About being Siri, about being able to create these adventures and share this with you guys. And it's just the flow of my life now and it's amazing. Alright, let's grab that wild plum before I forget about it. And then I'm going to ride the minecarts right on up. And we're going to go talk to that dwarf. Um, and th see, I think he's, what is he? Is he, I, ah, that's so bad, I don't even know what he is. Hmm, yeah, dwarf, because it's the dwarvish 
the dwarvish scrolls that I find. So let's come talk to him. It's dangerous in the mines. Why don't you buy a few things from my shop to ensure your safety? Ah, darn. I really thought that he would be the one I needed to talk to. All right. Hmm. And we could just buy a bunch of bombs from him. That might almost be easier than making the bombs. And of course, minor streets, which I think I can make myself now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to buy the recipe for that floor, though, because I think that would be useful. Life elixir, health to full, garlic makes weaker monsters avoid you. Hmm. But he's not going to tell us anything about the goblins. Gosh darn. And we already talked. Did I already talk? I don't think I already talked to the wizard now that I think of it. Hmm. So maybe the wizard could tell us something more about the goblins. All right, so the plot thickens there. It's almost 11 p.m. Uh, do I have anything else I could work on? I have something in my yard. Look, there's a tiny yellow arrow to the far left, and I wanna see, what is that trying to point me towards? It's trying to point me towards a harvest, a harvestable of some kind. Hmm. Rosestone. Oh, what's this? Was that, was that what it was trying to point me towards? It was pointing me towards my, my truffles lost in the grass. That is so cool. I didn't know that it would do that. That was awesome, Rose Stone. All right, so maybe I will work on cutting down a tree or two for a second. It's almost midnight though. Oops, well, you know what? That tree got in my way. Oh yeah, and then I was going to give my ax or something like it to Clint so that I would be able, like my hoe or my axe to Clint, so that I'll be able to get a little bit more work done. So maybe I'll work on that pretty soon too. Hmm, let me cut this tree down. And I can just kind of work my way. Oh, there's an owl flying overhead to the right. That is so fun. All right, and now it's midnight. Should probably go inside soon. Uh, let's see, let's cut down. I wanna cut down this big pine tree. Turn, nope, turn towards the pine tree. There we go. And I think there's actually a mushroom tree growing next to the pine tree. So I want to be very careful because I do love the mushroom trees. Oh, and there's actually like a pine tree stump right over here I need to clear out. All right, very nice. But it is getting very late. So a tiny, tiny little hint of work done. Oh, and there's a log I need to clear up. So a little tiny teensy bit of work done on the farm to kind of help everything and collected up some things and I'm good to go. So I think tomorrow I will reward myself with all of the hard work and special items I've been collecting. And we may go fight in the mines, but I'll have to think about that because I'm gonna wanna have a lot of bombs for when I go down to the mines. And I do wanna figure out who to speak about the goblin problem to. So, hmm, I think tomorrow we'll focus on the goblin problem like responsible adults. <laughs> Like a responsible adult with a child and a whole household to take care of. Um, and, you know, just general, just general responsibleness. All right. And, oh, look, Noodle Doodles is sleeping in the nursery. That's so sweet. And let's see what we made money-wise today. Oh, that's a lot of money. Wow. Is that from my ancient fruit? I bet that's from my ancient fruit wine. Let's see, ancient fruit wine, 3,300 for two. If I had gotten them up to star varieties, that would be a lot more, but I'm pretty happy about that. And then let's see, artichokes also sold for quite a bit. The goat cheese actually sold for quite a bit at Gold Star, so that's awesome. Yeah, the artichokes actually sold for a lot. Too bad I won't be able to get any more planted, but I can probably grab some more amaranth unless Pierre's is closed on Sunday, so we'll have to see. I think he is closed on Sunday. Fooey. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.